Uh, good morning. Today I'd like to demonstrate Artworks Wafer Map Convert program. And I'm going to start by loading a SIMP file. Let's load that file there. The first thing it does is it scans the file and it shows us some dies in there. You can see that this is actually not a legitimate SIMP character, so I'm going to change that to FE. All right. I'm going to produce an AutoCAD file and see what we get when we draw that. We can also enter the wafer diameter, which I'm going to put in as 150. We'll just click Convert. It's been converted, and you see a DXF file has been produced, so let's open that. All right, you see our DXF file, and we have various elements to it. The first element is these uh, cyan boxes, and they're simply generated by computing the array of all the cells. So let's turn those off. And now we have just the good and the bad die in here. You'll see that the good ones are labeled 00, zero and these so-called edge die are labeled FE. We have a proper uh, wafer map in SIMP format, and you can basically zoom in and pan. You can see where all the various uh, die are located. So these would be good die, these would probably be bad die, and these would be edge die. Now I'd like to address this WWF uh, file format. We've seen this when we receive files from uh, foundries such as Texas Instruments and a National Semiconductor. The main difference in this particular file is that the shot map section we haven't seen before. That's something new, and I don't think that that actually translates into SIMF in any event. What we're interested in, in particularly, are the binned devices. There's a bin called uh, 01 and a bin called uh, 09. So let's see what we can do with that. Let's load this. And the first thing is it doesn't seem to recognize the die names, and we'll have to uh, see what's going on there. We'll tell it that this is a TI-NSC format and scan it. Once we've scanned it, it picks up the stepping patterns, the number of rows and columns, and where the flat is, and, and even the units. And I think we'll produce uh, both a SIMF and a DXF out. Now we'll click Convert, and we should get two files got the new sim and we got a DXF. So let's have a look at the DXF first. Here's the DXF file we got from this wafer map. What's interesting is that there seems to be an area in the middle that's completely devoid of any data. You can see the pattern of good die versus bad die. The dark blue are the good die. They're labeled 01 and the bad die are labeled 09 which comes from their bin number. You can see that we're actually able to read that format with just a small amount of difficulty. And here's the SIMP file that we created from the WWF. Obviously some of the information in the WWF doesn't have any equivalent in the SIMP. But you can see we get the die stepping, the mills, the list of devices. So we're quite on the way of being able to offer, say, a translator from SIMP to WWF. Although we don't currently write WWF, we do at least understand the format and we can already go from WWF to SIMF. Thank you.